Good morning, we're here at Biscayne National Park. We stayed at the Cracker Barrel in between Everglades National Park and here it's like literally on a road that goes between the two parks so it's like a perfect spot to stop. I had breakfast there and I'm ready to go and there were a ton of people there, at least 30 vehicles parked there. But now we're here, it's still quite windy though, it's coming from the northeast and there were some paddling trails I saw on a map on the National Parks app. But I talked to the visitor center guy and he, he recommended this one paddling path that just goes to this little canal, freshwater canal, and I guess manatees like to hang out there. So there, there's two other groups going out, one group I guess, right now doing the same thing. So I think I'll do that as well. It's not too far, it's like two miles. Just straight in, straight back, and way back, the wind's going to kind of push me back. And I think the kayak can handle it, so let's go for it. Now, if I'm going up against current and it seems like in here the wind is coming facing me. Can't be wind I'm generating because I'm going very slowly. Like I'm looking at the rocks at the side. <laughs> I must be going like half, half a mile an hour at most, maybe one. There's a bird up there trying to get away from me. He's walking faster, not moving. <sighs> the way back should be a lot easier. I haven't seen any manatees yet. I'm just going to go out to the red buoys and come back and I'll explore the island up ahead and hug the shore, look for wildlife and just take it easy. Hike up the mountains as a workout and then the kayaking world, you kayak against the current or against the wind as a workout. And downhill is basically going with the wind or with the stream. Right now it's a workout. Oddly enough, I'm going slower now than when I usually do a big climb. Really slow. There we go, close enough to the buoys. I'm just going to stop paddling and the current should gently take me away. Oddly enough, I think this kayak tends to go backwards with the current. If you turn it forwards and you let it float, it'll slowly turn backwards. Oh, there we go, there's the wind. Oh, I'm turning. What's going on? Let's see what happens here. It's nice and wide here and it's deep enough where I don't have to worry too much. There's some fishermen further down, but not immediately. Maybe I'll just go sideways. Sideways tends to be the also another way it goes when the wind blows. Because once it hits the side, the wind really catches the side and it just takes you sideways. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of fun. Now's my downhill, except I don't have to walk. It's basically just roll. I do have to paddle a little. Because I saw two fishermen on the left side come walk in. So I'm going to have to try to avoid their lines. Oh, now we're spinning forward. Now we're spinning again with the four towards the... towards upstream. I've seen several of these great blue herons out here. I'm just floating, I'm not guiding myself, but he's looking around a little. I'm a little too close for him, I think. He's big. Almost two feet tall. Hope he catches it. I haven't seen any manatees on this river yet, but I just saw one. It's either a manatee or a dolphin, but most likely it's a manatee. Straight ahead. 
I can't see anything. I didn't hear him breathe or anything. I saw his tail pop out. Where is he? Where is he? He'll probably come up behind me. Where is that guy? It's a much prettier pelican than the one we saw at the pier. It's got the yellow head. See that the beak's red. It's bigger too. But he's also here harassing fishermen. Yeah, they're much prettier. Maybe it's getting towards mating season and they're starting to color up. There's another big guy over here. These guys are everywhere. Yeah, sorry I interrupted your sunning time. You won't be able to see it. I don't know if you <laughs> There's no way I'd be able to point it out, but I was like, what is that thing? Is that a bird rummaging around in there? But it looked weird, like it didn't have a head, like a headless bird. So I backed up and looked and it was an iguana in that open area. I guess he was sunning himself. And then when I backed up, he went into these mangroves to the right. Can't see him anymore. He was a big one. Without his tail, he was easily a foot and a half. He was big. My first iguana ever. I was going to be sad that I left Everglades without seeing one, but there he is. There's his tail. Let's stalk him some more. Come on, GoPro, the front screen's not working again. It's like on and off, on and off. I think over time it's gonna stay on, but uh, I'm afraid to stick it in the water anymore because I think the front screen's gonna die on me again. But, oh well, I'm all done with Biscayne National Park, as, at least for as uh, far as the kayaking. A lot of the park is just water. So there's snorkeling tours, boat tours, and there's paddling tours at uh, the lagoon that's way out, I forget the name. But uh, everything costs quite a bit of money and I don't want to spend it. Um, it was free entry here. It's another one of those national parks that are really small, so they don't have like an entrance booth as you drive in. They just have a visitor center to the side. Some national parks, you have to go through a booth and you pay, but some, it's like honor system. But, oh well. Um, it's nice they had a freshwater hose by the kayak, so I hosed my kayak, paddles, my arms and legs down. My clothes are a little salty, but now I'm going to go find a camp spot. I'm actually going to go sit in the shade for like maybe an hour and then um, go to camp spot after that because the camp spot I was thinking of going to is pretty exposed and it's only 1230 sunsets at 7 so it's got a while before uh, it gets darker maybe a couple hours. It's patchy clouds but I don't know. Um, I'm just hoping they're available. There are a few spots. Uh, they're relatively close to Miami in the parks. It's so really if you want, if not, I might go further north to a uh, wildlife management area that has a lot of dispersed camping. I'm not sure. I feel kind of sad. I'm done with the whole Everglades area. I'm for moving up north now. Um, I'll still be south of Orlando. I'd like to try to get to the Kennedy Space Center around February 13th. They do have a launch schedule that's 7 p.m. So I'm gonna try to go to that. So I'm trying to find a camp spot somewhere around there so after i watch launch i can go i don't have to drive too far to go find camp and i'd rather have a reserve spot that's paid for instead of driving around looking for a spot in the dark so wish me luck i'll talk to you later at the camp spot welcome to camp for tonight as you can tell by the sunset and the water i'm right by a canal there are little bugs a few bugs flying around it's a little cool but it looks beautiful this way except for some of the garbage here and there. What you don't see is that there's a highway right here, right behind me. It's uh, it's quite busy. I hear it kind of, it goes down once it gets darker, but 
Um, I'm not, at least I'm not right next to the road. People could still come around. It's a little weird when some random people come in and they park. And they just kind of hang out and they leave. I guess it's like a break area. There, yeah, there are porta potties at Denver. but I think it's more for the construction workers than for this whole area. But I decided to stay here. It's a little further, about 30 minutes more north than the other spot I originally intended. But that was not a spot at all and there was nothing, no privacy or anything at all. Here at least, I have a little privacy. I have my car, nobody else is here yet and I have the water on one side. So it's pretty good. I think I just have to check for snakes and alligators when I get out at night. But it's beautiful sunset though, with like the lily pads on the bottom there. That's it for today, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed Biscay National Park, National Park video. I actually went to the visitor center and told them about the iguana I saw. And they're like, oh, they're an invasive species. They're everywhere in the summer. I guess they're not out when it's colder, but when it's warm, they're just everywhere, I guess. And they just, you see them all the time. So I guess it's not a big deal to most people here. But to me, that was my first one. So I was pretty excited. Although I didn't catch it on video, super excited. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Y'all take care and have yourself a good night. Bye. Should have done a time lapse.